Oh, hi, it's Rob, and I'm on top of the ladder. This is not my favorite place in the world to be, but uh, got to work on the, on the deck and uh, trying to fix it up. And it's really difficult to get to from the top, so I've got to get at it from the bottom. Have I mentioned I don't like ladders? The rim joist for the back deck needs to be dealt with a little bit before I can really put the railing on. It's got a bow in it, uh, some warping due to moisture. Uh, it wasn't attached properly when it was first put in. Uh, I blame the guy that did it. Uh, so I want to try and fix that today because I'd rather try and fix it and get it in some semblance of straight and level or plumb uh, than try to replace the whole thing because replacing the whole thing is a real pain. All right, the way that I'm going to try and do this is uh, with this. This is a headlock. Uh, it's got a really funky bit to drive it. It's not a Torx bit. It's, uh, it's like an eight point star where a Torx bit is six and uh, it's machined a little bit differently. Uh, and uh, luckily the package of the screws like this comes with a bit to drive it. Uh, I'm going to be using a an impact wrench to drive it in because the uh, well the impact is intended to you know sort of bounce the wood forward a little bit more so I can hopefully get it in. Uh, Got to do some drilling first, so and it's going to be on the top of the ladder. I mentioned I really don't like ladders, right? try and get you a picture of that gap. That's what I gotta try and fix. Uh, where are we? There we are. It's about, I don't know, a little over half inch, not quite three quarters. Uh, but it's a, uh, it's enough to throw off the, the ability to have a plumb, uh, plumb surface to do this on. So, Okay, I've got a through hole drilled, and that is to uh, allow the bolt to pass through so that it's only screwing, screwing into the wood that's behind it. Okay, we added a good size washer to it to help distribute the, uh, distribute the load on the front piece. That should help to pull it in without damaging the wood too much. Uh, it'll spread the load out and make it so that it's pulling on a larger surface area. Yeah, it looks like that one was just a little too small, but that's okay. And it's just barely grabbing in, so I can turn this by hand at this point. And there, it's against the wood. So. Oh, that worked really well. Wow. Oh, that snugged that up nice and tight. All right. I mean, that is, that's closed that gap up perfectly. That's beautiful. I like that. So 
So that was a relatively cheap fix, uh, kind of a pain in the butt to uh, prepare for it, but uh, once that's in, that makes that this, uh, this front rim joist pretty much straight up and down plumb, at least good enough that I can use it to mount the post, uh, post brackets. Now that's another story entirely. I'm going to have to make post brackets uh, because I couldn't find the kind of thing that I was looking for. Uh, they don't seem to make them anywhere, or at least nowhere in the location where I am. Uh, I could probably have them custom made, but um, I'm cheap. Uh, there's also, it looks like, a storm blowing in. Uh, there are some very dark clouds that are coming up in the sky. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'm going to be up here. I'm probably going to get down from the ladder pretty quick. But uh, anyway, that was a uh, that was a win. I'm really glad that worked because that saved me quite a bit of money and work in putting this together. Yay! And going down the ladder. Let's see if I can. Those are the clouds that are coming in. I and mean, that definitely looks like rain. Uh, the way they're traveling, I might be lucky, and they might miss, so, anyway, I don't care, I'm getting down. Uh, have I mentioned I really don't like ladders? I've worked on ladders a lot on this house, and uh, it always kills my legs, so, all right. See you guys later. Oh hey, that's Rob. Outside today. Looking at hornets and flying around the camera. Uh, go away. Alright.